Would you like to tell everyone that you've been sitting here trying to eat my camera? You are such a turd. Uh, so this is Taco. He is six months old, I believe, today. Are you six months old? He's a baby. And he acts like a baby. True terror. Menace to society. Oh my god. It is Thursday, November 2nd. Taco. Do you see what I have to live with? Um, it is Thursday, November 2nd. Um, we are leaving for Yomacon tomorrow at 5 a.m. to try to get there before the loading dock closes. Sir, please stop. Um, he's trying to eat Ganyu's wig and every time I turn the camera on him, he keeps stopping to pretend he's innocent. Oh, now Lisa's yelling at me. I'm never getting anything filmed. <laughs> I do believe part of Yomacon starts today. I think it's like badge pickup and garage sale day. Uh, there are many cats trying to distract me right now. And by many, I mean two. Can I be of assistance to you? So I'm getting everything packed. My hair looks terrible, um, and my face is very red, uh, because it is very cold and I just got back from walking in my dog. Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh, oh you guys are gonna see your cats right now. Um. See, here are some plushies. I still need to get everything packed. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna pack the car tonight so we don't have to pack it tomorrow morning. Uh, not all of these guys are going, though. The vast majority of them are going. The guys up top are not going, except for Umbrian. Umbrian is going. So I'm gonna go ahead and get packing. Um, this vlog is very chaotic. I keep having to stop because cats. Because of you. So here's another look at the plushies. Got them all down. Vertes, can I fit all that in this bag? Minus the cat. The cat's not coming. As you can see, the uh, monster is now exhausted from his day of committing atrocities. <laughs> all right, I don't have you guys on your little stand right now. Um, it took us longer to find the loading dock than to get, <laughs> it took us forever to find the loading dock. We had to ask for directions. We have a trash can. Isn't that fancy? So this is the table. We are finally here. I did not vlog on the way here because it was just, we left at 5 a.m. and it was dark the entire way. So you wouldn't have seen anything. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Bye. Bye. Badges have been obtained. Also, they actually have helper artist alley helper badges. I'm like minor league. <laughs> You're not important. I'm triple A. I'm like the Toledo Mudheads. I put makeup on. I used a chair. Um, so I'm going to change into Narmaya eventually. We don't open until 1230. It's on the badge. Yeah. We got here at 8. Yeah, we got here at 8. We don't open until 12.30. I like that the hours are on the badge. I always like it when cons do this. Yes. Cons, if you're watching this, you're not watching this. But if you are, <laughs> put the Artist Alley Dealer's Room hours on your badge. Thank you very much. I love you. Hello. Oh, are you filming? Yes. <laughs> yes, she's filming. <laughs> I'm tired and, and uh, we have to make bed. And it's only day one. It's day one. Look at these lanyards. These are some fancy lanyards. Like, look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I have to take mine back because it says Artist Alley, not Helper. <laughs> okay, I just noticed. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera. Oh, you can. The button the person is wearing in this says, yes, I'm the artist. I love that so much. It took me just as long to put the wig on as it did to put the actual costume on. I hate this wig so much. But I am now in Narmaya. Um, I do not, what time? It's 11. We still have an hour and a half before we open, I think. Oh my god. <gasps> You can see, you can see like my life flashing before my eyes. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer. Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter. You gave me the soul I have today. Without you, I never could have moved away. But now I see what you teach. I do believe I always should have stayed. Yeah. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. 
What are you doing? You do too now. Um, so I just found out there's blood all over the back of this. Um, I think, we think, Laura said she saw it before, so she thinks it's not from this con, she thinks it's from MatsuriCon. I think this is from my foot. So Katie came by, I don't think I've ever put her on the vlog, but she's a friend and she gave me her ribbons and I thought this one that says I support women's wrongs, I read it as I support women's worms. There's been a casualty. Oh no, they're stepping on the casualty. One of Bryce's friends stopped by and gave us trigger treats. Um, they were fairy godmother in my techo vlog. I, oh, this is not going well. I got it, I got it. <laughs> now I have to open this. Rice crispy Treat Hershey. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh my god, there's a lot in here. But wait, there's more. There is! Alright, I went and walked around through the artist alley and I'm filming my purchases, so... My boyfriend sent me this video from TikTok of someone buying their friend something cursed at a convention. So I was determined to find something cursed. And I found these absolutely beautiful cursed stickers. And I just need the world to see them. Beautiful. We are all done for day one of Yumicon. Here's what we've got left. All of the Pokemon are gone. Guess where we are? Steak and Shake. We haven't been to Steak and Shake in years. This used to be like the staple con food, but then they got rid of all the ones by us. All right, so this is the hotel. We're staying at a Holiday Inn, kind of like a half an hour out from Detroit. It's honestly a really nice hotel. It really is. We got lots of shelf space. Like that's really nice, yeah. It's a bigger room than I thought it was. Good morning, it is 7.40. So the breakfast here is fancy. They have omelets. Anyway, um, so. Why every convention do I get that alarm on my camera? Okay, I am ready to go, Andesia. Um, I sewed her boots to um, pantyhose as well, but they are terrible quality pantyhose. And they are definitely, like, already starting to be not very good. So if they last all day, I don't know. We'll find out. But it doesn't really matter. Nine. The artist alley supposedly opens at ten. So we're going to get ready to go soon. It goes until eight today, so it's a very, very long ten-hour day. So hopefully it all goes well. But I wanted to show how cool this is. I'm going to ask the person that I bought this from if they know who made it. Because they actually sent this to me for free but I just want to show how ingenious this thing is. I realize people do this kind of thing for weapons all the time, but like, it's beyond my understanding. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. That's amazing. Isn't that fancy? Wow. I never really know what's going on. Had a great game. We played Forbidden Island. It was very fun, and we got these treasures. Very cool. Not to be confused with miniatures to paint. <laughs> very nice. Are we vlogging the monumental 
location of the hat not falling off. Yes. It'll fall off in two seconds. Just give it time. <laughs> We decided that the good luck tuna has decided to grace us. That's not the good, that's, that's, get your kale out of here. I want to see the superstar. I didn't ask for the kale, I asked for the star of the show. Oh, now she's opening the kale. Okay, now I have to film the kale. Good luck kale. I, they just announced I, they're closing early. Yeah. I want to see the good luck tuna, Laura. Let me, oh, let me see that smells. tuna. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous. That's the good luck tuna. All right. What's the expiration date? It's the same as it's always been. It's 2019, isn't it? I think I have it memorized. Best of use by 5619. I told you, it's 2019. I'm, I'm opening it up. I mean, it's it. the same tuna. You are not opening our good luck tuna. See, this is this is why we haven't had problems. <laughs> like. All, Almost all, four years expired. All the controversy is not around us. This is our bubble. This is our bubble, our Hi. tuna bubble. Oh, I got their butt. I was very late. I didn't get them. All right, all right. Now it's the end of day one, day two. Frederick has found a home. We're at Red Robin and we're trying to cut this cake, pie, whatever it is, four ways and it's chilled and Lauren can't get the knife through it. My, I'm seeing my life flash before my eyes. Why don't you tip it on its side? That's, that would be the smart <laughs> thing to do and Lauren that smart. Okay. Should I ask for a steak knife? Okay. Somebody. <laughs> Plate inside her <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're just mutilating the cake. I'm we? I'm doing your thing. It's gonna melt by the time you cut it. <laughs> this is worth its weight in it's cost and entertainment. <laughs> okay, get my work out. I need to bring the. Just announced this place is closing. It looks like it's bleeding from here. I think it is. Chocolate oozing out of this side. They're gonna kick you out. Guys, you've been cutting this for like two months. Well, it's been three minutes. Since you started filming. Since I started filming, yeah. And she was already started before you started. Yeah, she started before. That was a workout. I'm exhausted. Now you can eat a box. What are you too tired to eat it? Alright, good morning. Um, I am in uh, Ganyu this morning. There we go. And Laura took one look at this costume and she looks at me and she goes, Is that from Genshin? Because <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. Uh, so it opens at 11 and we're going to head over there soon. Um, they had a, I think, I actually think I saw, we were on what news station was it? Yomakan was. ABC. Yomakan was on ABC, and I think I actually saw the person filming when he was coming up and down the artist alley rows. He had this huge like video camera and stuff, but he didn't have any like identification on him. And me and one of the artists across from us were making faces at him because we didn't know who he was, and he wasn't asking for permission to film. So we were just kind of like, <laughs> and then we looked at each other like. <laughs> So like it cuts off right before you get to our row and I'm like it's our fault that it cuts off before you get to our row because <laughs> we're making faces at the guy. We are getting ready to pack the car and head over there. You should need to vlog these lights. Oh, Laura wants to vlog this light. Why do we always have to vlog lights in hotel rooms? Um, yeah, it's this part right here, I think. Yep. Yeah. So it's just touch activated right there, and Laura's fascinated by it. As you know, Laura is a light connoisseur. <laughs> oh, now it doesn't want to turn off. There we go. We're trying to figure out what language this is in. I put it on my phone and picture translated it, and my phone translated it and did not tell us what language it was in. So I feel like it sh should tell us what language it is. All right, and then, then there's... No face, that's really cool. It's not looking this way. There he is. <laughs>
Oh, I just started randomly recording. Hi. <laughs> I'm the height of fashion. You know what? It's a video. Okay, thank you. Beautiful. So right now it is 3.30. We are taking down the cubes. This is what's left. Now it is officially the end of Yomacon. What are your thoughts and feelings? I loved it. My favorite parts were Steak and Shake, hanging out with you guys. Steak and Shake is totally Yomacon, yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I loved it. I love the board games. I just love hanging out with you, you guys. Um, All right. It was wonderful. I'm it's cutting you off. It was awesome. All right. A lot of nice people. <laughs> one playing, good spot. Mm -hmm. I think everyone had a good time. Yeah, we had a really good con. It was very successful. Um, I know there's a lot going on. Fortunately, we didn't run into any issues with the convention itself, and every staff member we ran into was super nice. So, like I said earlier in the vlog, this is just our personal experience, pretty much staying almost exclusively in the artist alley and not going out and about. Anything else that happened, we don't have a ton of knowledge of. I know there's some issues with like photo shoots happening. We vlogged and we did photos and we didn't have any issues, so I don't know if we just did everything after it all got sorted out. Other than that, I don't know. I haven't like looked or had time to look at like Facebook or to see whatever everything else that's happening. But again, this is just our limited experience. And in our limited experience, we had a very good convention. So thank you very much, Yomakan. <laughs> If it's okay, I thought to vlog about this real quick because it's something that I have noticed has made a very positive difference in my convention experience, starting with Yumacon and going forward from now on. just want to mention that this is my guitar amplifier that I've been bringing and using for the last couple of years. It's a small 10 watt amp, however, I've come to learn that it's a bit of a hassle to carrying this along with my backpack and my guitar. I got tired of carrying this around. Plus, as I'll demonstrate in a little bit with the sound quality, it was time to move on. Yeah, this small uh, Black Star amp, I believe it's 3 watts. So while that might sound like it's really nothing, it's definitely something. I really prefer this over this. Having this in my backpack, having other important things like my juices, of course. Can't forget about your juices. Real makes a positive difference. Here's a quick sound comparison. So I'm gonna play one of my riffs on my old amp. It has more of a fuzzy buzzy sound, as you're about to hear. Here's my new amplifier. This has a nice crunchy and munchy and overall lovely sound. And with that, I'm gone. Bye bye! <laughs>